When COVID-19 struck, policymakers needed urgently data to take the right decisions. But with the lockdown, most of the traditional data sources were interrupted. Also, what was needed was real-time data, not data for the last quarter or the previous year. So national statistical offices, they start looking for new, non-traditional data sources, such as road traffic sensors, uh, smart meters, road toll systems, and also mobile phone data to measure mobility patterns. There are two aspects of trust here. First, do the statisticians trust the quality of the data? Second, do the data owners trust the collectors? Traditional official statistics are collected for clearly defined purposes. They are produced following high quality standards of national statistics offices. Non-traditional, often commercial data exists on numerous subjects and in huge quantities, but they are not tailor-made for specific needs. Non-traditional data is also often inherently biased. For instance, smartphone users are not representative of the entire population, and the behavior of people who can afford them isn't shown in mobile phone data. Non-traditional sources will likely not replace traditional statistics, but for sure, they can complement them. They have important downsides, but they can also provide very timely and therefore valuable information, as we could see during the COVID-19 crisis. What you have to know is to what extent you can trust them and what for you can use them and use them for that. There are a number of initiatives to collect mobility data for broader uses. The government of Slovenia has an agreement with mobile network operators to provide pre-processed and partly aggregated monthly data on roaming. In Germany, the Federal Office of Goods Transport uses data from truck tolling systems to produce an index on the development of truck use on German motorways. The European Union has set up a cooperation between governments and 17 mobile network operators to collect mobile positioning data for 23 countries. At the ITF, our last international transport statistics meeting focused on the role of data in the COVID crisis. We have also set up a partnership with the UNEC to organize every quarter a virtual meeting on monitoring mobility where interested countries can share and exchange experiences and views.